हेलो गाइज दिस इज समन काले एंड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल सो गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न ए लीनियर अल्जेब्रा यूजिंग पाइथन ओके सो आई विल मेक ए दिस कोर्स फॉर यू सो गाइज वी विल सी द टोटल लीनियर अल्जेब्रा यूजिंग पाइथन सिंपी लाइब्रेरी सो गाइज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग टूडेज वीडियो दो ऑफ यू डो नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट लाइक एंड शेयर एंड प्लीज कमेंट इट सो दैट you will get understood this course and i also get some satisfaction about this videos okay so let us start today's video so firstly you have to import the simpy library first okay so there is a simpy library in python so import simpy as yes sy I will write simply as S Y. This is the short form for the simply library, guys. Okay, so I have imported it. So there are so many functions in this simply library. We have to see only the linear algebra function. Okay, guys. So what is in a linear algebra? Basically, we have to learn first the matrix. So all of we know the matrix. Okay, in a mathematics. If you don't know the matrix, you can uh, learn it here itself. Okay. so matrix is a array okay is a array it is a list and it is used to store the data okay so how we construct a matrix using the simpy library so firstly i have given the name matrix a okay so a is equal to i will give the name of the matrix so i will use the simpy library okay sy sy dot in this simpy library there is a matrix function okay so matrix first letter that is m is capital and all are small okay so in this matrix function if you want to see you can see here you how to implement the matrix implementation based on domain matrix as the internal representation okay so we have to enter here the matrix or the lists okay so how we can uh, enter the list so this is for matrix so you have to give the double square bracket Uh, a single square bracket for the biggest matrix so here i will construct a matrix okay so firstly i will construct three cross three matrix okay these are the three elements in the my first row okay so this first bracket that means my first row okay now i will construct a second row comma and second row in the second list i will write as 4 then 5 and 6 okay now i will write third row in the third square bracket That is seven, eight, and nine. Okay, these are my three rows. Okay, this is my first row, one, two, three. This is my second row, four, five, six. This is my third row, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so these are the three rows, and I I want the matrix capital A. So I will enter A, and let's run it, guys. We will get this is the matrix one, two, three. This is my first row of the matrix. And then four, five, six, second row, seven, eight, nine is the third row. See, guys, this is very interesting. So this is my matrix, guys. Now we will learn some basics about the matrix again. Okay. Now I will take some another matrix B. Any type of matrix you can construct here. Okay. So I will use B is equal to again I will use S Y dot matrix. Okay, matrix. So in this matrix. I have to give this for square bracket, and then in sub square brackets, I have to write the matrix. Suppose I will take two cross two matrix, so two one is my first row, and second row uh, like this uh, seven and one. Okay, and lastly, I will give this as B. Okay, and if I run this, so I will get the two cross two matrix. So very interesting. Now. we will see some operations on this matrix okay so basic operations so what are the basis basic operations guys so firstly i will give the heading as basic operation okay basic operations on the matrix so this is basic operation okay now i will convert it to the markdown and run it now we will see first shape of the matrix shape means guys that means uh, 
its uh, dimensions 2 by 2 2 cross 3 4 cross 3 like that okay so shape first we will see the shape of matrix okay so shape of matrix so how we can write the shape of matrix in python yes how we will get the shape of the matrix so let us see if i enter the same b matrix okay if i run the same b matrix and i want what i want shape of the b okay so firstly i will run this and then i will use sy function okay sy dot shape of matrix b okay shape of b and if i run this so i will get 2 comma 2 that means it's a 2 cross 2 matrix if i check here sy dot shape of a okay shape of matrix a that we have entered first so i will get 3 3 that means the matrix a is of 3 cross 3 matrix okay now i will enter some another matrix e is equal to okay so sy dot this matrix function and then i will enter the matrix as suppose 1 2 3 okay and then i will give the another as is minus 1 then 0 and 1 okay so this is my matrix and if i want to check the shape of this matrix so i will use sy dot shape of the matrix e okay and let's run it, run it guys so i will get two three that means there are two rows in this matrix e and three columns okay shape means guys we uh, in general in mathematics we say it as dimensions okay order dimension so which uh or what is the order of this matrix two cross three or three cross three two cross two yes so here we will say shape shape of the matrix that means number of rows into number of columns okay so the, in this matrix e there are two rows and three columns now we will uh, access rows and columns okay from a particular matrix so i will uh, So this is my matrix A guys, okay? And if I want the columns and rows from this matrix, so how, how I will get the columns and rows of this particular matrix, okay guys? Suppose I want the first row, okay? I want the first row of this matrix. So I will use A dot, okay? A dot, I want row, okay? So row, I will use the row function. So in this row, I will use Suppose I want the first row. So in Python, first is calculated by index. Okay, it is the basic. Uh, when we take the list in the list, the first elements index is zero. The same way, the here, the first row's index is zero. So I will get the first row. So this is one, two, three is the first row of matrix A. Suppose I want the first column. So I will use a dot column function. Okay, so a dot call zero a dot call zero so i will get the first column one four and seven guys it's very interesting suppose i want the last row last row is what guys that is two zero one and two okay so i will use a dot a dot row of minus one if i write a minus one then what will happen guys see seven eight nine so negative indexing also we can use okay suppose uh, for this a dot row i will use two so i will get the same row guys that is seven eight and nine yes so same for column a dot column of minus one so i will get the last column of matrix a that is three six and nine yes so in this way we can access the rows and columns okay so I will give heading here, accessing rows and columns, okay? So that you will get understood and familiar with it, okay? So accessing rows and columns.
yes guys so it's a very easy and very interesting one by using the python yes now we will see how to delete how to insert rows and column okay so let's give the heading deleting yes deleting and then inserting yes inserting rows and columns okay rows and columns i will use col that means columns so how we can delete and how we can insert rows and columns okay so if i want to delete something okay uh, now i will take the same matrix a okay now i want to delete the first row from this matrix a so i will use i will use the row delete function okay so i want to delete the first row of matrix a so from uh, from where i have to delete from matrix a so i will use a then dot what i have to do row delete okay so row underscore del function okay so row underscore del zero that means it will delete the first row okay and then you have to take the a okay then you have to take the a then and only then it will take the it will take the row okay delete zero row delete zero that means it will delete the row okay so guys uh if i will give this uh input as a uh, row delete then it will delete the first row from the matrix a and i get the last two rows that is four five six and seven eight nine okay now if i want to delete from this now matrix a will be four five six and seven eight nine okay so if i take a here if i give a here so i will get this matrix four five six seven eight nine and if i check the shape of this matrix okay so shape so what i will get guys i will get it's a two cross three that means two and three yes one second so s y dot i have to write okay s y dot yes s y dot shape of a then it will give me two three that means two rows and three columns okay now if i want to delete the second column from this matrix okay so i will use the operation on a a dot column delete function okay call underscore del call underscore del now i want to delete the second column second column means zero for first column and one for second column so i will use the one and if i will give a then what will happen guys see so this five and eight this column get deleted only the matrix four six and seven nine is remaining okay now from this now i want to delete the last column i want to delete the last column so what will remaining so a dot column underscore delete okay column underscore delete last column if i use the minus one okay then what i will get guys if i give the a here so let us see it will give me the only one four and seven now in this i want to delete the last row i want to delete the last row so i will use a dot row delete function okay so row underscore del and from this i want to delete the last row okay and lastly i will give the a so what i will get i will get the only one matrix that is four and here if i will use row delete or column delete any one so i will get the zero matrix suppose i will take a dot call delete function okay that means column delete zero so what i will get guys see if i take the a then i will get the empty matrix okay so this is the function row delete and column delete okay now uh, if i want to insert some row and column some row and column so how i will insert it suppose i i i want to insert the row okay i want to insert a row so i will insert it as 
a dot insert uh, or row insert function okay so row insert okay row insert so which row where you want to insert this row suppose i want to insert this row at zeroth position at zeroth position and you have to take the matrix okay which matrix you want okay so matrix matrix function you have to use and in this matrix you have to use the double list and if i want to enter here one two and three okay and then i want the a so let us see guys what will happen yes this matrix is not defined so i have to use the sy dot it's again a empty matrix okay once again i will check it so guys if i give a equal to a dot row insert that means i am making the matrix now row insert zero sy dot matrix of this okay that means this row is get inserted okay now if i want to insert column if i want to insert column uh, in the same so i will copy the same code okay and paste in this row now i have to insert column so i will use call insert function and here i have to insert now 0 1 2 now in the third position i have to insert column okay so this is the 1 2 3 okay and if i run this so what i will get guys 1 2 3 and this again 1 2 3 okay it is get inserted okay now if i want to insert a row if i want to insert a row so a dot row and then insert okay row insert if i now i want to insert row at one position okay and then sy dot matrix so i will use this matrix as four five and six okay and lastly i will take the matrix a okay so this is my matrix a if i run this so let's see what will happen okay a equal to i will give and let's see so it will not take yeah i have given only three elements okay i want how many elements six elements again i will use it as four then five and then six okay now it will be inserted let's see four five six four five six get inserted so this is the basic guys okay i hope all of you understood how to insert rows and columns in a particular matrix how to check the shape of the matrix okay and how to construct a matrix so thank you for watching the video in the next video i will come the next basic operations of the linear algebra